Round two. Let's fucking go. <clears throat> I feel good today. You know, like, the headaches aren't, aren't as bad. But I also, like, I don't take medication pretty much, like, at all. So, whatever symptoms I get, like, that's just what I'm going to have to deal with. Four of Swords. <clears throat> Healing, planning. That's why we made a strategy, though. So that we could do this semi-incrementally, but also knock it all out at the same time. Page of Pentacles, this one is not a small offer. We're going big or we're going home. The only other one that would have been comparable size would have been driving. And honestly, I'm just not really comfortable doing that with the X. I think that's why I keep on putting it off. Eight of Pentacles, I think I'm gonna wait until I go back to Maryland and I'm gonna go try and get my sister to show me the ropes again. It's been a long time since I drove. 10 years, I think. I think it's been 10 years. Jesus. The chariot. Appropriate. Two of Cups. Is this after we move? We got the Seven of Wands and Judgment. <clears throat> And that makes me feel like they're not trying to respond. <clears throat> Four of Swords and the Page of Pentacles were thinking out this big offer, this uh, Eight of Pentacles that we've been putting forward. The Chariot is a soul connection and coming quickly but the Seven of Wands is self-defense, and then Judgment is, you know, it could be a test. A test of our self-worth from the Twin Flame. Everything I have seen makes me think that when he comes back in, he'll come back right. But I also have had the distinct feeling, five of cups, that he's been trying to humble me or teach me a lesson this whole time. I'm not really sure why or what it is. But something, I think that's, I think that's the competitive energy that I was picking up on, trying to, trying to teach me something. Knight of Wands, <clears throat> which is what fed into the fear, Knight of Swords, that I was so worried that if I were to go somewhere with him, he was just going to ditch me, or um, even, even if it wasn't like a physical location ditch, that he would let me get close, let me finally feel comfortable, Knight of Pentacles in the world, and then drop me. But Ten of Cups. I lost fear of what would happen if he left. Like, even if he came back in, even if we gave it a shot, I think I could probably walk away and be okay. I think I would probably have some emotional breakdowns at some point or another. I think it would be really hard, Six of Wands. But I know that I can survive him leaving again. It's just a matter of whether I'm willing to believe him when he says that's not what he's going to do. But those kinds of decisions, those left path, right path decisions, those are curveballs. Because you don't know until somebody's already decided. Nine of Wands, and that guy likes to make impulsive decisions on occasion. He knows how to stay out of, what's the right word, Six of Pentacles. He knows how to deal with somebody that can get in his head. 
He's very smart. He, at one point, the magician. See, it's just so hard to tell what his perspective was on those energy games. You know, the back and forth, the push and the pull. Because sometimes it felt like he, he was trying to suck me dry. But it was only ever to the point where I allowed Page of Cups because I could stop him at any time. But most of the time, I chose not to. I thought that he needed it. And then when it started getting really aggressive, I assumed it was somebody else. The tower. But it could have been, it could have just been him, and it could have even been unconscious, I think. It's possible. Five of Swords, because I was mirroring that competitive energy. I was just as concerned about him being a threat to me <clears throat> as he was about trying to teach me something. Two of Pentacles, and that's why we were spinning the opposite direction. Because we were literally focused on the same things, but against each other. We had the same fears, same doubts. Nine of Pentacles. And I think that's why it got so much easier to just cut the connection off, to not allow myself to feel it. And I think that's why he left too, because he needed his own headspace, and I needed my own headspace, and it was constant. Five of Wands, and I don't think we were ever going to get unstuck without that distance. Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords, that was really when I learned my boundaries. When we stopped being in each other's heads all the time. But losing that closeness was also very hard. And at this point, Nine of Swords, I'm scared to let him back in telepathically, emotionally. Like, when, when I put my boundaries up energetically, my manifestation, my will, is that only positive energy can penetrate my bubble. In theory, anybody with positive intention should be able to interact with me energetically. And if you have bad intentions, I probably won't even notice. Spirit team deals with that, you know what I mean? Three of Wands. But we didn't have those boundaries up for a really long time. And it's kind of like, it, it's kind of reminding me of how I need to be at the grocery store now with, with those close quarters boundaries. Because it feels different when put in practice. Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. That energy from a distance feels easier to deal with. But when I got like six people in close quarters, I just can't shut it out. I don't know. It's very uncomfortable. High Priestess. We be sensitive. What can you do? Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Six of Cups. But we are working on it. I'm going to... Maybe I'll get, like, I don't know, another ring or a different bracelet or something. And set the intention that... My personal bubble is my personal bubble, and it will not be encroached upon. And then I will just have to deal with the sensory overload of it all. But, you know, that's a, that's a plan. Queen of Cups. Really, I think a lot of this journey boils down to how you perceive what you're experiencing. It's crazy how a, a mental shift in perspective, Seven of Swords can reveal so much. Three of Cups. Celebration. Think the Empress. We're going to end it there. Thanks for watching, everybody. And this wild ride, I'm not sure we're ever going to get hard and fast explanations for everything, but I feel like we're piecing together most of it. I appreciate you guys being part of it. Thank you.